The National Folk Orchestra has been around since the 1980s, but it was revived a number of years ago. What people find amazing is uh, to see so many traditional instruments together in one place on stage. Das mir so schwierig und kau tried und struktur ta eg kolt es ags an more fabula ta an ags an tradition shen bechs more le die go will shen rod larger briever be over ta vech mit sach kalte gane when we were thinking about the the next production for the national folk orchestra we began to think about a time when Irish music wasn't that popular. The whole point of Legacy is that it commemorates and celebrates those men and women who protected and nurtured the music and the culture. There was oppression of the music, obviously at times like the famine where there was huge emigration and so on. For me, Legacy is the story of the music that refused to die. Thomas E. Curl Kale show Dokrecha Nis Kyol Dirk Staru La Kyol Vunlesh Mohoka Nagas Mulla Agas Fedrukti Nu of Freshen As and Kyole. In the National Folk Orchestra we have some of the best uh, young traditional musicians in Ireland. These young musicians in in themselves they're part of the legacy. The tradition has handed the music down to them. Well, Dom Sainio is coming to Norvito O Catal, quite a long arm, a dead of clock, the fall and kill. So, Tasha Ann Special, the kind of a part of Rod Ann Moore, Agus Ann Special, the Casula Shal, Dini Kolo, Lagus La Kyotori Kolo, the Casula Tamags, the Kyotoriella. The Flana themselves are part of the legacy. They're part of what has nurtured and kept music alive and kept the story alive. I think it's going to be an amazing experience for everybody when it goes on stage in Ennis. Well, it came around when it Get to go Norvisa for Nam so Ah Sin Fargal and Maid Sin Clack do the goal of this to me it through less came here all me on the atmosphere or need here this uh Yachtra. Tom also rain dash of uh Agam Hun Veg Fratler Flakulna Heron is in Tachanoka Jane Ainrut Hoslesh down.